All right, so I figured out how to do the arming with these two dual uh, momentary switches on the T-Pro. And we just uh, quickly demonstrate here for you. So I press one down and then I tap the other one. It doesn't matter which one and it'll go into an arming state for channel five or auxiliary one. And then disarm, do the same thing. So I will uh, show you how I set this up here. Um, so I just wanted to point out something. I think people want to be a little confused about these buttons. So on the uh, Light Radio 3, they have these latching type buttons here, or latching type switches. So when you depress them, they stay locked in. So they'll maintain their state. But the switches, on the T-Pro are momentary switches. They don't stay locked. So you can't really use this for arming because it won't, if you set it up as a normal channel, it doesn't maintain that state. So it won't work for, for arming and disarming. And as you can see here, if I just press one of the buttons, nothing happens. I have to press them both. And then I can press either one, doesn't matter. I need to press both of them to disarm it. So that way, if I'm armed, I am flying around. If I accidentally hit one of the switches, I'm not gonna disarm by accident. I have to actually hold them both down. So it's kind of a safety feature. But anyway, I did a little bit of digging on the uh, OpenTX website and you do have to set up some logical switches and some special functions to get this to work. It wasn't terribly difficult to figure out. I actually, I'm not an OpenTX expert by any means. And just to doing a little digging around on there, I was able to figure it out. And I, I was kind of motivated to figure this out because I do want to use this radio for, and I do want to use these switches for arming because um, in its current state, if you do a traditional uh, switch setup, it's not going to work. Anyway, so let's go right into the model here. So just using this, the, whatever the base model that came in here, tap in here, page over. And the first thing you want to set up is a logical switch here. Let's go back. So before you go to the mixer and set up the arming channel, you want to set up these logical switches first. So I have L01, or logical switch one, and logical switch two. And the L01 is a switch set up as an and. And I'll just go in there and it's basically edit this. Function is an and. And you want basically V1 to be SC, which is the left momentary switch here. So if you see if I press it, it, it turns into those bold letters, it means it's activated. And then the AND switch is SD, like that. So you can see that's activated. So when both of these are active, the logical switch L01 becomes active. Let's go back out of here. And then I set up a logical switch L02 as a sticky logical switch. So you can see here, it's currently armed and it's bold, but if I disarm it, it's no longer bold. So let me just uh, check the cursor off of there. When it's in arm state, it's bold. And when it's disarmed, it's not bold. So basically you go in here, the function is sticky. And then V1 and V2 are both set to the logical switch L01. And that's that's it for setting up that one. And then, so basically what the sticky does is when the when you activate L01, which is, um, it, it doesn't maintain its state. So that's why you need the sticky switch to maintain the state of, of it being armed or disarmed. So it's active. And, 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 and disactivated. And that's what the sticky function does. And then on, in terms of the voice, you go to the next page here. Yeah, so basically you go to the next page, you go from logical switches to special functions. And I created these two special functions here um, that are tied to L02. And so basically you have L02, either it's active you see the L2 is, is bold there. And then when it's when I activate it again, it'll be in the disarm state or it'll be disactivated. And that's why they have the uh, exclamation point L02 for the second one there. 
in the, in the disarm state, you can see the, LO, the exclamation point LO2 is active. So basically you just go in here. So for the LO2 state, I have the special function of play track, and then I chose the um, voice file armed. And then over here on the very far right, you see this little exclamation point dash. You need to have that there, otherwise uh, when one of these states is activated, it will just keep playing the voice file over and over again, which is super annoying. This way, um, it will just play it the one time when you actually activate it, and also it won't play when the radio is first turned on. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is go into the mixer. So, get into the model, page over, and then I set up my mixer here on channel 5. And I, I, I have this specifically in channel 5 for Express LRS because uh, it needs to be on channel 5 or aux one for arming. So in here, the only thing I changed here was I changed source to max. And then down on the switch, I set the switch to LO2, which is that um, second logical switch. And that's it. I, that's, all I, that's all I did to set this up to get it to work. And you can see here when I arm it, the LO2 is active, and then the see that 100 there is um, all the way over, so the switch is high, and then the negative 100 with, with the 100 is not bold. Let me just also show you this in the channel monitor. So in the channel monitor here, you can see channel 5, it's 0 currently. And it goes to the high position here. So I think in the disarmed or the non-activated state is actually in the middle position, not the low position. So that's why it's at the zero. So you just have to set up your in Betaflight your arming channel so that's on the high side, somewhere in the, you know where it's around 2,000. I think is where the high the high value is on the on channel. And you know that'll work. So. That's all I needed to do. I just wanted to use these two buttons here, you know, for arming and disarming. So let me just demonstrate one more time. So press one, and then I'll arm it and disarm it. Press it again. It doesn't matter which one you use. You can go this one here, and then press this one, and again to disarm. So either one will work. You just have to, one has, basically one or the other has to be held, and then tap the other one, and then it will arm and disarm it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you guys are wondering how to use these buttons to set up arming with uh, logical switches and all that, this will work. Uh, if you guys have any other better ideas, uh, maybe a more elegant solution, let me know down in the comments, but this one seems to be okay for me, and this is what I'm going to be using. Okay, let me know if you uh, guys found this helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.